in this video, I want to go through how to install and deploy man in the middle proxy. Guys, this is a tool that uh, you can use and security researchers use for all the time to capture HTTP traffic and inspect those requests, right? And especially when it comes to HTTPS traffic, it is very, very difficult to get right, right? So this tool is an open source that runs both on Windows, uh, Mac, and Linux. I'm going to run it on my Mac. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to capture some traffic going through some of the popular websites. How about we jump into it, guys? So guys, very quickly on how man in the middle proxy work. Uh, the idea here is to spin up a server listening on a specific port and then on your client, which is in my case, my MacBook right here, the one I'm recording on, you set both HTTP and HTTPS proxy pointing to that endpoint that you just listened to. And what will happen in this case, the client will establish a connection from a layer four perspective, your destination becomes the proxy. However, your layer seven traffic will be forwarded all the way to your destination and it is happening through the proxy. And I talked about proxies, reverse proxies, uh, SNI, all those stuff that we're gonna talk about here, right here. I talk about in details, check out the videos right here. So that's how HTTP, HTTP is very easy. It's, it's unencrypted, right? I look at the traffic and I say, okay, you're going, you're going Google to, you wanna go to google.com, HTTP, unencrypted google.com. Very easy, I can look in the host header and connect to that domain right on the back end what if it's https it's a completely different ball game the moment the client detects that you are in the uh, https configuration you have an https proxy it's some it does something called a connect request right so it establishes a connection between you just normal tcp connection between you and the proxy however all requests, you don't, doesn't send a get request immediately. It does first a connect request. You use a connect and then the proxy connects on your behalf to the server, right? And uh, establishes uh, the TCP connection. And then all the traffic is tunneled through the server. That's normal, not man in the middle term TLS termination proxies, right? So technically you have an end-to-end -end encryption between you and the server. This, the the, the proxy cannot see your content right? because well, you, is, it, is, it is as if you forwarded your TLS hello all the way to the server and then the server forwarded your server hello all the way to the So in this case, you're essentially served the certificate from the original server and you can establish the connection. However, so what man in the middle proxy does is it goes all the way and tries to break this by establishing two TLS sessions between you, between the client and the proxy, and then another TLS session between itself, the server, and essentially decrypting and ter terminating this traffic. It's called TLS termination for a, re for a reason. That's another name for it. When it does that, it needs to serve you the man in the middle proxy certificate, right? And the moment it does that, things started to break, obviously, right? And because you don't trust the man in the middle proxy certificate authority, and as a result, it will fail. That's why we're gonna go through all that stuff on how to install man in the middle proxy, how to install and trust the man in the middle certificate authority, because guess what? Man in the middle is generating certificates left and right all the time. Every time it, it connects to google.com, it generates a wildcard certificate for Google and serves you that certificate. So you think you're connected to Google and you will be trusting that certificate despite it not coming from the original server. Why? Because you will be installing the certificate authority right here on your client. We're gonna talk about all about that stuff. I talk about certificate authorities, guys, if you wanna learn more about certificate, certificate authority, go check out those videos. I'm gonna reference it right here. How about we jump into it, guys? Open up command terminal. Let's do brew and install man in the middle proxy, and just like that. That's how I installed in Mac. Find out the instructions. I'm gonna uh, reference the instructions for Windows and Linux. It's very, very straightforward. Ja that's it. I have a man in the middle proxy installed. The next step is literally just type man in the middle proxy. And just like that, 
it's ready to receive traffic, right? Eh, no, it actually tells you, <laughs> never mind. It tells you that it's 8080. The next step is, this is useless because this is just another server that is listening on some port. To make it useful, you go to your connection, whether it's Wi-Fi, whether it's uh, uh, LAN, and then you go to your preference, network preference, click on Wi-Fi, you click on advance, then click on proxies. What we want to set is we want to set the server that we just uh, established as our both our web proxy and as a secure proxy because we want to terminate uh, proxies, uh, HTTPS traffic. So where is the web proxy? It happened to be on my local host, but it could be another server if you spin up my man in the middle of another server. That's what you do, by the way, if you want to like uh, intercept your apps on your phone, you would go on your setting on your phone and set your host name and the proxy to be that machine. You it would it will never be a local host in that case. It's gonna be your your whatever IP address of that machine. All right, I'm gonna make it 8080 here. There is no credential, so I'm gonna leave that empty. Security, yeah, uh, secure web uh, HTTPS again 8080, same thing. I'm gonna click apply. So now if I if you go to Google, immediately you're gonna get an error, and that's a valid error. Why? Because now what happened is you are served the a certificate from the man in the middle proxy called issued by man in the middle man, man, man in the middle uh, certificate authority, which it's not trusted. It's not trusted by your machine, and that's a good error message. You want to see if someone intercepted your man uh, your traffic in the middle and served you this contract, which anybody can do as long as the traffic is is going through them, like your ISP, they can serve you any certificate, but your device will refuse it. Uh, some sites will uh, have like, uh, oh, I trust trust this anyway, G click OK. Some sites will have that. Even they will give you the opportunity to override that and go through it. But browsers are smart and say, okay, Google will never do that. So we'll never allow people to go to Google or YouTube or any other site. If they if that certificate is just bad, so that's probably a good thing. All right, so how do I, right? How do I trust stuff that is coming from? Well, look at that. Look at that certificate. It's just it says for Google.com, but look at that. That was generated from man in the middle proxy. That's a certificate generated by the certificate authority that's called uh, man in the middle proxy. So how do I? Let my machine say, hey, by the way, anything from man in the middle proxy, please trust it, which is the way I say this, I am I am scared even saying that. That's just scary. I'm gonna do go to man in the middle.it. And if you hit enter, that is not that is a public domain, but because now I am my traffic is going through the proxy, this website is being served from the proxy itself, which is clever. If you go through that without a proxy, you will get something, hey, you're in the wrong place, don't, don't visit that site, which is very, very clever. So now you follow your instruction to install the certificate authority on your machine. So go ahead and click Mac OS, install that puppy. And then when you click that thing, when you open that, you can see that I am getting a new entry, a new certificate called man in the middle proxy. If I double click on that puppy, there is a trust option here. And again, warning, do, do not do this on any other certificate. If you're doing it on the man in the middle proxy, and you, you should trust man, the man in the middle certificate authority that they won't do something bad. Again, be very, very careful on doing that, right? I'm gonna do always trust. All right, now we trusted it. If I go back to this thing, you can see seeing some traffic. Let's go to Google now. See if we're getting yelled at. Nope, we're not getting yelled at. <laughs> and if we click on this one, that is that is what I'm saying. This is scary, guys. This is terrifying, right? Click on this, connection is secure. Nothing, right? Firefox tells you a little bit more warning, I think, but you can override those warnings, even if you're ma being man in the middle. If you click on certificates, look at that, google.com, but if you paid attention, you can see that that is not the right parent, right? Google is 
certificate authority is not man in the middle proxy. But how would you trust that? That's why I always tell people to look through this stuff, especially when you're in like a public cafe or something like that, Starbucks. All right, if I look back, you can see some queries here. All the queries, my queries to access all the stuff. You can go through and click one of them. And you can get more details, request on the request itself. You can see the response that came back. But some people don't like this, right? This view. Because like it is uh, it is very command liney. So there is another one. Man in the little web. You don't like it? Just run in man in the little web. And when you do that, you get a web interface. So now you will be listening on two servers. One for the proxy itself, and the second one for the web server that will be hosting your web content, which is the proxy itself. So let's, let's go ahead and do some other stuff here. Let's go Google Enter. Then you can see all this beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. You can see the quiz, response, all that stuff. All right, guys. Uh, all right, guys, that's it for me today. Very quick video talking about the man in the middle proxy. And again, guys, check out the other content of the channel where I talked about proxies, how they work, all that jazz. Uh, I'm going to see you in the next one, guys. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.